you're live yay awesome hey hey everybody um welcome welcome happy uh happy monday those hanging out in chat thank you for hanging out with me as we play more life is strange true colors and if you're watching this in the future hello from the past um this is chapter two of life is strange true colors i don't know anything about what's about to happen so please remember no spoilers in chat or in the comments or tag your spoilers in the comments um I'm going in with no information, doing my best to to get to get our girl Alex the happiest ending I possibly can. Um, I'm really enjoying it so far. Chapter one was really pretty, and then really uh, interesting and really powerful. No pun intended. And then really sad. Um, so join me, won't you, while we try to rectify that? Let me adjust this. Um, but yeah, let me know how I'm sounding. Um, right now there's no audio coming from the game, but let me know. I'm uh, I'm going rogue tonight because my mod is watching dogs. So my mod is remote right now, but shout out to Alana for modding. Thank you so much. And thank you everyone who's hanging out. Um, hi, hi, I'm seeing a lot of highs. Um, I'm in pain because my wisdom teeth being removed. I'm so sorry. I hope everything heals well. Same, my teeth stuff is still going on. So I, in a different, similar area, um, in case you can't tell, it's still a little puffy, um, but if I sound a little weird, that's why. Um, I don't want to get into details and gross people out. I've been avoiding specifics, talking about it on Twitter, on the main channel, but if I sound a little weird, it's because I still got tooth stuff. Um, also, uh, thank you everyone for helping the main channel hit 150k the other day. I wanted to wait a couple days, because I'm always afraid when it's like three or four above if i say something five people will unsub so I, I wait for a little bit of a buffer but that happened over the weekend while i've been uh in pain and <laughs> recuperating and then booking appointments and stressing out so that was a, a lovely way to uh, alleviate some of the stress from this last week um but yeah smash that like if you haven't subscribe if you're not um and let's uh Let's do this thing. I'm hoping... I don't think we'll get a recap because it's not like the other Life is Strange games where it, like, drops episodically, right? So I don't think we're going to get a recap. So I'll give one real quick. So spoilers for Chapter 1. Go check out that stream if you haven't. Plug, plug, plug. Which, um... Still got copyrighted for random ambient background noise in the bar. So that's cute. Um, we... But, uh, so, re quick recap, um, we were just helped from our brother, we got help from our brother coming from our foster home in Oregon to this town in Colorado, um, everything sounded great, we know the gal running the, uh, radio station, we ran into our brother's friend, we, uh, we, uh, played with a cat that was fun um and then our brother's stepson uh got lost in the mines um because it's a mining town it was scheduled for a explosion uh we ran to go save him we used our awesome powers of uh empathy to not only feel what the other person is feeling but see what they're experiencing and help coax them from a spot just in time for spoilers for chapter one something to still explode or happen despite being given the all clear that nothing would happen and our brother fell i can't confirm that he's gone but he definitely fell and a bunch of rocks followed with i'm in a little bit of denial over that it happened so fast um so yeah we're going to be starting chapter two but thanks for hanging out with me guys um i'm hoping to still get a video up on the main channel this week it won't be tomorrow just from everything that's been... Oh, lovely. What happened? Oy vey. All right. Hold on. Okay. Boop. Well, there you go. That's the end of the game. Um. Well, hopefully that doesn't happen again. Please, just something go right for me today. Um, 
cute. We can we can skip. Hello? Oh, I gotta keep pressing it? Okay. Sorry about that. Continue. Um, but I'm okay. Someone just asked me how I'm feeling. I'm really stressed out, so I appreciate the, uh, ideally copyright-free, uh, chill acoustic music right now. It's just been stressful. It was a couple days of, uh, pain and appointments and uncertainty. And we have a plan right now for my tooth, and I have to go in tomorrow again. Lanterns, yay! Oh, it's Tangled! Sweet! Rapunzel's Tangled Adventure. Underappreciated. Watch my videos if you haven't. Shout out to that show. Check it out if you want a show right now. Oh, now I'm sad again. Yep. I'm not big on speeches. Uh-oh. I've always believed that the role of the bartender is to shut up and listen. Oh, no. And by that measure, Gabe was the worst bartender I've ever known. Oh, thanks for going for a, a humorous approach. I never issued a speeding ticket to someone on a bicycle before. Until he came along. He cared so much. I don't think I could do this today. Essay. Even though he probably couldn't spell admissions. This is a bad idea. <laughs> Poor essay. We have to, uh... I booked my van to play the land. Oh, God. All the way from Seattle to pretty much right where I'm standing. We had to push back my grandfather's service again. Specific and it's frustrating. Where Gabe said something that made me laugh. Oof. <laughs> the music's lovely. The first was as long as it doesn't get me in trouble. So, long story short, instead of a ticket, I ended up buying him a beer. Gabe stood like three feet away, grinning like a doofus at us. I'm sure there were more people. Neat. But I only remember him. Ooh. And then he said, I know. That's why the K is silent. <laughs> uh, then the fifth time. He cared about everyone. <sighs> okay. He was the kind of guy you wanted to be around. He was a world class bullshitter. That picture's really silly. I'm glad it's silly, but he like, goddamn. Best friend. All I want to say about Gabe is he came into this bar as a stranger, but he left it as family. Ooh. That's good. That's good. 3D model acting as well as voice acting. God damn. Guess that's that then. Ooh. What happened to Gabe was a senseless, tragic accident. And I just wish it, that ooh, wasn't an the accident. crack in his voice. Son, now is not the time. Gabe called the mine. I gave him my saddle. Oh, phone God. Sure Our powers. He could get through. They fucked up. And now, yeah, just just a reminder, guys. There's mental no, health and there. crisis lines and resources linked that in the description. It's a card. It'll take you to those resources. If oh shit! Called it would have gone through me. Nobody called. You're lying. Oh, isn't that the asshole guy? <laughs> in front of Gabe's own fucking sister, Alex heard the whole thing. Ooh. Uh, he's right. He's right. I was there when Gabe made the call. 
I'd like to hear what you have to say about that, Mac. Yeah, Mac. I'm not saying anything. Just, I didn't get a call. Draw your own conclusions. Isn't That's the guy whose ass right, you kicked, folks. right? This is an ongoing investigation. How about that we review the sequence of events? Hmm? Well, son. When I saw you at the record store, you seemed pretty eager. Shouldn't the engage. company be you investigating this? Hmm? Another fight with Riley, maybe? No, I don't have to take Damn, it. Damn, I mean, he said it. I was thinking it. Wild that you come stumbling out of Gabe's apartment with your face all fucked up. Right. And just a couple hours later, you just so happened to miss the call that would have saved his life. Look, I told you there was no call to miss. And maybe the call got dropped. Oh, shit. I mean, it's not like... It's not like Gabe was Mr. Reliable all the time. Dude, Watch screw you. Mac. Ryan, that's enough. Now, I'm just as eager as you to understand all this, son. But there was a time... Bullshit, Dad. Oh, God. The fact that you can see it, like, spreading is so I am frightening. Just telling you. Mac, I swear, if you say there was no call one more fucking time... Stop it! Stop it now! Time and place, yeah. Time or place. We're all here for Gabe. Okay, Ryan. Which means I gotta turn down the shower and my headphones. I'm sorry. Because they are shouting. It's not. I'm just trying. Let me know how that sounds. Hello? I'm not the one who killed him. <laughs> Aren't you, though? What the hell? The fuck did you just say? Ryan, back off. Oh, I'm hell. just saying. I thought I heard that you Mac, were the one. You shut the hell up. No. No, go ahead. You got something to say, Mac? Let's fucking hear Come it. Come on, guys. Don't make me intervene. All right. Fine. As long as we're tossing around accusations, way I hear it, you're the guy who cut the rope. Bro, fuck out of here. We're playing that game? He had to do the freaking trolley dilemma. It was one life or two. I'm gonna try not to upset myself, but as someone's brother, if I was the one dangling, cut the rope so my sister would be okay. Like, that makes sense. So, you, you know, though? get bitched. Ooh. Alex? Oh, thank God it's Steph. I'm like, what button is it for some alone time? Hey. Fuck those guys. Hell yeah. Yeah. Are you okay? Uh. I will be? Not really. But I, I will be. It's not this your what I would to say. keep it together. Go off, hell yeah. Do you, um, it's messy, but do you want to come in? Sure. I hate being an adult while playing these kind of games, but I hope nothing happens to where people question whether or not she's allowed to stay there or not, because it was, like, his word that we could crash at his apartment. I hope that doesn't become an issue. You play guitar? Uh, it was a gift? Oh, so with that... It was a gift. From Gabe. Cool. Yeah, a bit of a, what we would call a hot object right now. If anyone's familiar with that exercise. Gabe would try to pop wheelies outside the record store to make me laugh. Never worked. Till he wiped out. 
That was hilarious. I really don't want to picture him falling right now, but I appreciate you. Oh, look at the foosball. Like, it's, like, handmade. I really wanted to do the LARP for Ethan. But by the end of it, he was more jazzed about it than anybody. Wish I could have seen it. Damn. Ooh. We took this a year ago. We... Yep. No way. Stuff sucks. Looking at stuff sucks. But he actually kept it. Oh. Um. Oh, feel what you're feeling. It's okay. Sorry. I just need a minute. Yeah. Uh, no problem. Um. Calm down, Alex. You're fine. You're fine. Yeah, I'm still not sure what this will do to our powers. I think of it really messed her up. I wonder if I could help her the same way I helped Ethan. Yay! Yes. I need to feel her sadness to figure out how to help her. Ooh, that's dangerous mentality in real life. But yay, superpowers. That's cool. Ooh, what do I... Do I look at shit first? I look at Who's bottles? Champion? Why would that make her so sad? Because they probably did that together. You don't need superpowers for that. Sculpture... Do I just dive right in? I'm not One playing air guitar. Memories I have. Ooh. Thanks, Gabe. So we like just 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 do it. I I don't know why I'm treating this like it's Phoenix Wright, where I have to like gather evidence first. Shoo shoo! Oh goodness. Love that Gabe was going to be part of a LARP. Would have been fun to see. Okay, the the objects are making me sad, so we're just gonna go for it. The dialogue is hella better, I agree. Ooh, it sounds like like rain, but I don't think it was raining outside, right? And now we're in the sadness realm. Now I can find out what's really going on with Steph. Oh, so literally what I thought I was supposed to do, but after. Okay, dope, 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 dope. What are they called again? Don't shit on my yard! They're amazing! Uh oh, do Their I have to check the arm. copyright? Badass. Sadness. Settings. Uh, live stream. Mute license music on. Okay, cool. Just want to make sure. Okay, so... The music was playing. Is the... Blacklight responding to the shadow realm that we're in? Damn it! Fucking overpowered blue meteor. Aww. <laughs> Is your controller broken too? We're playing until I win. Then I'll be crashing here tonight. Ha! Oh, I mean, this is understandable as hell, though. Like, memories of hanging out in here and Ladies everything. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting your new foosball champion, Gabe Chen. Oh, you're the worst. Can't believe I have to stay in this stupid town. I think oh. we both know you could have beat me if you really wanted to. So you Ooh. Won. Bullshit. Yeah, that's what we call a hot object. Okay, so they played foosball together, and it was like a if if I win, stay. <laughs> Dude, give it up! I 
already booked a bus ticket. Wait, wait. Hear me out. One more game. Yeah. If I win, you have to stay. If you win, I'll cover the ticket. You just lost 50 bucks. So, I guess she was thinking about leaving and was having a hard time. Here's to your new job at the station. Oh, didn't I tell you? I'm not taking it. Oh. I move to Denver next week. You what? I think I know enough to help her now. I think I do too, but also like, why were you gonna move? My thought was you already had the radio station job and then got a bigger opportunity to leave. Yeah, it's like sadness raining outside. I don't know if that's real or not, but it's cool either way. Oh, I guess the help button or the speak button? Help? Still can't believe he's gone. Yeah. He's the whole reason I'm still... Mm-hmm. I'm sorry, Alex. Don't mind me. No, dude, like, talk it out with people you trust. Um... Uh... Foosball. But like when you're ready, obviously. Did Gabe tell you we played? Uh, had a hunch. I don't want to lie. I just had a hunch. Yeah. Well, you're right. I don't really think it's a great time. Valid. Fine. Yay. First to five points. Uh oh, do I have I to actually so. do this? Oh no. Oh god. L2 to spin the So how often did you and Gabe play? Okay. It was one of our favorite games. Oh no, oh no. Eh. You must be pretty good eh. then. Eh. Mm-hmm. This isn't how you play foosball at all. Hell yeah, I'm the king, 360 no scope. You were in a band, right? Oh, don't talk to me. Yeah. What'd you play? Freaking drums. Sister-in-law just texted me and distracted me from my phone. How, uh, how long did you play with them? She's so nice, Too it's annoying. Long. Dope. Gotcha. Yay. Freaking. Pro gamer. That. Bowling. Come on. Come on. Do we call no spinnies? Can I just do. What button does the spinny? Eh. 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 Hell yeah. No scoping it. No scoping it. Freaking. Believe in me, chat. Oh. Pogue champ, there we go. Pogue champ, baby. It's just like Fortnite. My my Fortnite teacher was right. I just have to believe in myself. Five points. That's Boom. Yep. Big shocker. Oh, Damn. Hey, you played your best. Was I not supposed I mean, to win? That obviously, wasn't my best. No, I get it. Oh no. And this is a tough game. It requires skill timing and the will to be a champion oh is that how it is what the hell uh what the hell what the hell uh the crowd loves me it's great to it's great to play with you okay okay joking aside playing this stupid game with you is exactly what i need right now you're on Yay! Okay. Oh no! Don't make me do it more. I mean, I just can I just keep my undefeated streak alive forever? So you better focus. Better to burn I out than focused. fade away. Good. Wouldn't want you to get distracted or uh, anything. Certainly not. Like if I'm supposed to be paying attention to their dialogue, I am not doing it. Eh. Greatest eh. Northwest band of all time. Go. <laughs> Are you trying to distract me? Boom! Oh, come on. Slater Kinney. 
if you were wondering. Oh, shit. Don't distract me with talking about music and enriching your characters and relationships. Don't distract me with freaking vibes right now. God damn it. Eh, eh. No, no, no. Ne eh, 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 eh. 360 no scope. Look at that. Look at that skill. That that's not an accident. That's training. Uh, uh, uh. No, no. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. Eh, eh. Freaking the Olympians make it look so easy. I didn't even watch the Olympics, honestly. Ugh. Ugh. No. Jack. No. Oh. Come on. Hell yeah. Pogue Shit, champ. Let's win. I was actually trying Can we get time. some pogues in the chat, please? Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Let's get serious. One more game. Winner takes title of ultimate foosball champion. Whoa, this is a charged know. moment. I kind of love it. You know, Gabe would be all about his playing like this. Well, then it's settled. Oh, no. I just have to believe in the heart of the cards. <laughs> this is it for all the marbles. Some Shut marbles. up. I've, I've won every game. Definitely the kind of game you want to focus on. No, no matter shit. what happens. Totally. Ugh. No, no, eh, 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 no, hey, freaking. So are you into girls or what? Stop distracting me with vibes. Did I hit both? I tried to hit both. Assuming they're my type. Yes. What's your type? Freaking. Can we get W's in the chat for the queer community? Hit this ball, goddammit. Yes. This is helping me not feel sad too. Thank you. Life is freaking square, Enix Deck Nine. What? What? What did you say? <laughs> I knew it. How old are you exactly? Excuse you. Ah. Uh, uh. I don't know how old these characters are. And uh, help. Ugh. Chat. Chat, save me. Freaking chat. Duh. Yes! Ugh. Freaking. I. Ugh. Dear. Freaking. Come on. No. Yes. Come on. Come on, baby. Come on. We must be strong. There we go. That one's for she bitches. Do not make a live action remake. I don't want to hear people bitch about it. Cartoons are disappointing. Superior medium, come on! Don't. <sighs> okay, in all fairness, it could be good, but still, that's been on my mind today. Boom! Foosball champion, goddamn <laughs> family! Oh, good game. Whoo! GG's chat. We're still the Pogue champs. What did I say to her? Thanks, Alex. I'm really glad you talked me into it. It was a lot of fun. Of course. I said I was into more than one gender. Stan. What did I say the second time? It's kind of crazy that you knew exactly what would cheer me up. Because I'm too much awesome. Credit. I'm the one who really needed it. Oh, we left the ghost zone. Okay, dope. Whew. I felt like so much was on the line. So, what are you gonna do now? What do you mean? That shit with Mac. He's clearly lying, right? Uh, I don't like Mac. No question. I knew he was a jerk, but this is another level. I think I need to prove that he's lying. For myself and for Gabe. I've got your back, no matter what. Thank you. That means a lot. Oh, it was an improv exercise. I've got your back. I should head back to work. Cool. 
what was the answer to my second question? I knew I said more than one gender. The second time she just said, loser says what? Oh, and I said what? I was bullied? Bye. <sighs> Bye. Still a great exchange, though. But, like, god damn. Could we exchange a pleasantry with that kind of energy before the devastating moment? Oh, that was stressful. <laughs> I know Gabe made that call, but did Mac really let the blast go off just to get back at him? No, I don't think it was a personal thing, but I think like he was just negligent of his job. Cause I mean, look at how he handled his relationship. Fuck that guy, clean these pants. See, I can be a person. Yay! That action will have consequences. Now clean the snowboard. Just want to see if there's anything else. Because if that action had consequences, there's a part of me that wonders if, like, cleaning up the room, like, helps your, like, headspace. Or, like, rather neglecting it would deter it. I don't know. It helps me sometimes in real life. You do you. It's a start. Yeah. See, these actions will have consequences. It's, it's telling me to keep doing it. Uh. But I already... Oh, get dressed into my DLC clothes. Let's see. Again, I love by lighting on these freaking squares. Anyway, what do we got? Okay. Wolves, we'll probably do that. Oh, Kitty DJ, Wolf Squad, sold. Um, shout out. Oh gosh, it's been so much has happened to my brain since receiving the package. Lindsay, you sent that, right? I think I saw you in the chat. Somebody did. I have it. I still wear it. It's just too hot right now. I'll sweat through it. It's like good, warm, thick, which is great soon, but I was going to wear it while playing this, um, but I would sweat too much. But shout out. Also, I love that it's a baseball, like it's a, like a, I guess not a baseball tee. It looks more like a sweater, but still that's dope. I, I want that too for everyday wear. I miss my wolf boys. It was you, Lindsay. Thank you. Was upstairs the right call? Have I even been upstairs in this building yet? Oh, yeah. This is where we... Oh, yeah. We had a very lovely... Oh, God. Yep. Yeah, that... Mm-mm. Just look I'll at it. Those soon. I swear. Yeah, whenever you're ready, dude. Like, no, no heckin' pressure. I'm just here to feed my birds. Sun and moon. But no, I um I thought about wearing it, but no, I would just completely sweat through it right now. Like the AC's still blaring. But I have it. But this is rad as hell. First off, love the reference. Because chapter one we were also wearing um a reference to uh ooh a putting green this is goals i want this i want this but instead of like a loft kind of setup i want like you know space for like my studio for or i guess a studio space for like recording and streaming and stuff and little town little quiet village waking up to say bonjour nothing bad happens though this is goals. But no, thank you again, Lindsay, and everybody who sends stuff in the P.O. Box, and everybody who thinks about sending stuff to the P.O. Box. It is by no means a requirement. It is always a lovely surprise. No pressure. Can't stress that enough. Holy crap. Cascades are better, though. Um, I'll make an all-season version for you, too. You're sweet. Oh, yeah, I guess we'll go yell at that dude. 
I just I didn't know what upstairs meant. Um God, I do want like a like a long sleeve tee of that now cuz now that I've seen it cuz then it would triple down as like a true colors reference now, right? But um then I'd be able to wear it more, but we're about to hit the cold season, so I'll be able to wear it. Cuz I um I like baggy clothes over my body for a lot of reasons I don't want to get into and um also it gets cold out here. You know that that hoodie is nice, but it she is thick. So like I can't I can't casually <laughs> wear it. I get sweaty stinky. There's more upstairs stuff like to interact with cuz it was just like looking at stuff. Oh, I just thought about like what if I did the red and blue wolf but like with my uh base that's in the thumbnails for the gaming videos like see how it's blue and red but then i realized it would look like stitch's uh badness level in lilo and stitch like story stuff it's just, just look, Why at look up at the sky when you could look at a sculpture instead no birds today nothing seemed too crazy gabe really loved this place yeah it is very nice gabe was such a dad this thing's been up here a while oh isn't that Steph's old band? Oh, that's a great name for a freaking band. This Can I take it with been me? Up here a while. No. Isn't that Steph's old band? It's all the colors of the gender fluid pride flag, but it's in a stack. What are you talking about? Oh, your hoodies. I thought you meant I thought you meant this. I'm like, I don't know what the gender fluid pride flag looks like, but I don't think it's that. <laughs> <laughs> I feel you now. You're talking about something else. I was like, oh, wow, is it really? Not everything has to mean something, Bill. Calm down. You make golf fun. Golf is, I mean, it's the company you keep. Golf can be fun. It's an acquired taste. Use your power on the button. I saw your comment about that, but how do I know? Oh, I have to ghost mode in. I was expecting it to just look blue on its own. Thank you. you. Could stay here too. Your comment made sense now. I wouldn't try to stop Hey. You. Yeah, good. I'll be the only trans person in a town with a population of like four. Yes, representation. I'm blast for me. Thanks for not trying to stop me. I'm sorry, Izzy. It's not you. And it's not the band. I fucking love that shit. But I need to try this. It's just time for something new. Damn. I knew it. I knew this would happen eventually. Fucking see you around, Steph. Well, that didn't sound pun. Excuse me. Okay, so you guys said look for the dot. Thank you. I'll keep that in mind. I saw you said items. That's why I was looking in the apartment. Um, I saw the comment you left saying, don't forget about the items. Should I sit in the chair? Would that be sad? Okay, so... Steph Quitter banned. No, that's not back, CD. I thought this was gonna be the one. Finally. Despite all the disappointments, I really let myself believe. I believed you. Completely. I let myself hope really hope for the first time in years even after I freaked out in front of you and hit you you didn't push me away you sat right there and told me that I wasn't broken that I was special Ooh, fuck. and I belonged then you died and I don't know what to believe now except you're gone again and I'm still here. Alone. 
Oh, the shadow kind of messed up her face. That kind of pulled me out of it for a second, but I kind of needed to be pulled out of it for a second. That's a print I want really bad. Of, like, the shot from behind her and then the mountains in front. <sighs> On the long list of things that I miss, it really sucks to get into, like, all these different, like, fandom things and shows and games and artists and all this stuff. And then it's, like, really wish I could go to cons and, like, see Infinity Train stuff or Owl House stuff or understand the Adventure Time stuff better or, um, you know... Things like that. So made me think of that just now. Uh, fair enough. I was about to say, uh, I was about to respond to your backseat comment. No, that's not too backseaty. If you tell me, like, if I can go back and there's something that I missed that's important like that, like, if, if people were like, start playing the arcade game, I'd be like, let's focus on the story. Um, like, obviously... I, I control my content, but uh, no, telling me like I missed something like that where I can just go back and click around for it real quick without spoiling stuff, highly appreciated. Um, Alex, I'm having a small event for your brother tomorrow at nine. I'd love to have you there, but no pressure, okay? You take all the time you need, Jed. Jed better stay a good dude. Like, I, I don't trust these games, ma'am. Alex, let me know if you need any groceries. I'll cover the cost. Jed, thank you. I'm so sorry. Apartment's yours for as long as you need. You know where to find me if anything comes up, Jed. Thank God. Oh, I was worried about that. Whew. All right, let's go. Someone in this town is a freaking liar or connected to a liar. So I'm nervous. Please don't let it be Jed. Because that's... That's the older gentleman with the sick arm tattoo and the impressive beard, right? I'm a little too, uh... Vulnerable to say daddy. I feel like papa is more appropriate but he gives off daddy energy in a less emotionally intense story. Oh, hey, kid, you don't have to do that. Too late. Like, that's how I want to look when I'm old. Wanted to apologize for all of us. We're all grieving, but that's no excuse. It was your brother's wake. And you both deserve better than listening to a bunch of fools squabble. Uh, I appreciate that. I appreciate it. That was pretty rough. Although it's hard to imagine a good version of your dead brother's wake. Also valid. No, there's no good version. Just all of us trying to get through it together the best we can. Dude, don't you dare betray me. It wasn't the first wake held in this old building. I doubt it'll be the last. Anyway, if there's anything I can do, just let me know. I need to talk to Mac. I know he's lying. I just don't know why. Any idea where I can find him? Well, he helps out Eleanor at the flower shop. That'd be the place to start. Thanks. Uh, he better not be at the flower shop. I feel like I should warn you, though. You might not get the kind of closure you're looking for. If you get any at all. Just uh don't pin all your hopes on Mac Loudon. Okay. I thought he meant like getting to the bottom of the mystery. I get it. Thanks for looking out for me, but what else am I supposed to do? I wish I had an answer for you. But if you get a chance before you go all dirty hairy, swing by the dispensary. Charlotte wants to see you. All right, all right. And one more thing. I'll never get used to that. <gasps> I've been meaning to give you this for the last few days, but I 
didn't want to disturb you up there. Thanks, Dad. It'll get you through that door and the one upstairs. I thought he was giving me a car, but that's still equally as... Same response. Thanks, Dad. This is your home now. For as long as you'd like. Hell yeah, King. Uh, what about rent? What about rent? I don't want to be a freeloader. Don't worry about that for right now. We'll work out a way for you to earn your keep when the time comes. Thank you. Give him hell. <laughs> hell yeah! Thanks, Jed! If he turns out to be bad, I'm quitting. Yeah, no, if he turns out to be bad, Square Enix owes me like $80. Dad, I have no idea what to even say to him. I don't know what to say. That was terrible. You shouldn't have had to see that. I know you're going through a lot, but can we talk? I know it's asking a lot, but I really need to talk to you. Okay. Is Do I respond, or is this just like a, a note for me moving forward? Oh, my goodness. Uh, you don't have to respond, but I just wanted to tell you. Thank you for saving Ethan's life. I don't know what I would do if I lost him. Thank you. I'm so sorry. Thank you so much. Yeah. Dear Alex, it was very much my pleasure meeting you this evening. I hope you find a welcome home here in Haven. I look very forward to our next meeting. Sincerely, Reginald McAllister III. Shout out to thirds. He, I'd rather the third be betray us than Jed. Uh, sorry I had to run like a crazy person. Excited to meet you for real at the Lantern. Hey, Alex, it's Steph. I'm so sorry. I loved Gabe. I can only imagine what you're going through. Please call me if you need anything. Alex, I'm so sorry. Please let me know if there's anything I can do. Can I respond to these, or is this just like... It'll happen on its own. Glad to hear it. Yeah. Mm. King shit. Like, if he turns out to be, like, uh, the reason for this, that will be my top ten anime betrayals. Oh, this is social media. Mac Loudon has deleted their comment. Hmm. A year ago I was ready to just place to keep moving like I always do and a year ago Gabe was the reason I stayed but even though he's gone now and even though I miss him like hell I still have reasons to stay thanks for showing me that Alex even if you do cheat at foosball girl please I'm the champ fair and square Mac Loudon has deleted their comment Oh, I don't think I can do the social media posts. If there's something important in there, somebody let me know. But if that's just world building, I'd like to skip that. I should put something here. Oh my god. It's the least I can do. What do we... What on earth do I put here? Do I have things... Maybe so... I can find something upstairs to put on the memory table. Okay. That sounds... Right. Yeah, I think we all need a jet in our lives. I miss mine a lot. <laughs> Won't lie, there was a part of me that's like, maybe since the first Life is Strange loves the hospital and stuff so much maybe it would be more of like a, I wonder what I can find up here to add to Gabe's memory table I'll find the person who hurt you instead of a full ass murder mystery oh oh that's our bag I'll put these dishes down there um um oh clean so long Depression food. Depression food. Band name called it. Ooh, I'm okay. Clean home, clean mind. Right, Dr. Lin? Yay! Yeah, that, yeah, I, I knew that was gonna be like, this action has consequences for our wellness. Okay, cool. Will my spider senses help me find an important thing? the broom down there oh an album oh shit yeah let's this do that is perfect for the memory table 
Ugh. Leave button. Who do I think it is right now? Um, I. Is it even? Would it even be possible to say? Because I, I think, I think Mac is definitely involved. But like I said, I think it's negligence, not malice, that his role happened. Like comes from. Glad I have something to add to Gabe's table. Sorry, I can't be using straws right now. That's what destroyed. Uh, it did. It 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 would be unhealthy for my mouth right now to use my current water bottle because it has a straw thing. Um, I don't know. I guess it depends because I'm a little sus of Jed because I remember they mentioned something about handing off the mine and the restaurant. But also, I don't think he owns the restaurant. I think he just runs the building. But he has the authority to not charge me rent right now. No. Hello. Damn, ducky. Nice. Um It might be the the third guy. I want to talk to dad. Hopefully, things around here can settle down again. <laughs> Look at me, dad, please. Yeah. That'd be good. Hopefully, things uh. around here can settle down again. Yeah, that would be good. I don't know yet cuz I don't feel like I really know too much about the people who live here. No, we're not using the copyright machine. Um but I think, kind of like what I was saying in my predictions from the end of chapter one, I think it's going to be, like, a broad, uh, town-wide, like, kind of conspiracy thing for, like, I guess, like, a certain class status of people in the town. Like, I'm sus of the sheriff. I'm sus of whoever's in charge of the mine and everything because i'm like why isn't that shit more secure if they're actively going through it and i remember there was like a huge thing about like selling the mine okay jed said i might find mac in the flower shop but i have time to swing by the dispensary if i want does my phone have gps Cooking up a new adventure for Haven. DM me if you want to get involved. You do. What are those? Are those candy, drugs, or buttons? Are we bedazzling things? Uh, I guess I can only do the social media stuff. What? Excuse me, you there. Which, oh, the dispensary would be the green plus sign, right? Holy crap. That looks cool, but that startled me. It's bullshit. We have a right to know what's happening to our jobs. Yeah, see, something's going down. You guys don't think anything's really going to change, right? I can type for eight years of my life, and they can't give me back one simple answer about my job. Typhon doesn't give a shit about anyone. I just it? still can't type in eight yeah. years of my life. And they can't give me back one simple... Might be a good time to check out the dispensary. Jed said Charlotte wants to talk to me. No, kayaks. Um, I just... Oh, it's so pretty. Anyway, green plus sign, right? Sorry about today. Hello? It's oh. It's not your fault. But I was... Why should one accident close all the trails? Ew, this isn't healthy. Yes. We're all suffering here. Yeah, damn. Check your priv, Karen. Okay, anyway. Do you want to do something together next week? 
Ooh. Sure. Might be a good time to check out the dispensary. No, I... Jed said Charlotte wants to talk to me. Uh, maybe. Anyway. We get... If I tell him I like him, we'll date, and then we'll break up, and then I'll lose my best friend. T, what Hallmark movie is this? Yeah, I usually grab a bite with Katie. You should come. Oh, I come on, man. Can't you take a hint? She's not into you. Let it go. Hmm. Maybe I could help them. Uh huh. Wait, hell no. What am I thinking? This is none of my business. Yeah, thank you. Right? There's nothing I can do, right? Might be a good time to check out the dispensary. Yeah. Jed Beautiful said colors. Charlotte wants to talk to me. Can I do it? Like, I shouldn't, right? I don't even think. Does it give you the option to intervene with that? Guess they didn't feel like painting the mine. Yeah, it won't. There's nothing I could do to intervene with that. I'm not a matchmaker. But still, all you have to do is, like, give her some sort of uh, higher end. Uh, executive position and it's Christmas time and that is a movie I would watch. Anyway. Be a... To the dispensary oh, where they dispense good vibes and hugs. We met briefly. You're Gabe Chen's sister, right? Yes, Alex, yeah. I am my own person, though. I didn't know him well, but I could tell he had a big heart. I'm so sorry for your loss. Well, thank you. She's mysterious as hell, too. She's the one who, like, had to get away from the city, right? I don't know. I, as much as I love the supernatural, I'm really hoping that this is a, that this stays a grounded, realistic story where it's, like, a conspiracy with the town or something as opposed to, like, ghosts. hydration everyone remember some water didn't see the trunk for a second i'm like why do those look like buttholes charlotte alex hey jed said you wanted to see no you. diane gives me weird vms too <laughs> wanted to see how you were doing uh okay i'm okay keeping my chin up is it a cult? Is it the weed? That's all you can do. How about you? I can't even imagine what you're going through. Honestly, I'm really trying to keep it together for Ethan. Your shirt's cool. He's hurting. Yeah, for real, that Is poor kid. Is he alright? No, that's trauma for everybody, but that he kid. He practically just lost a father. He's shutting me out. He's never done that before. Not when it mattered. Uh. He needs time? Everyone grieves differently. Maybe he just needs some time. We've been through a lot together. With the divorce and moving. He's never shut down like this. Damn. I just can't get through to him. I can't get over the feeling that the one person who could help me deal with the aftermath of Gabe's death would be him. Is Gabe. Yup. What is this? It's weed, you nerd. An affidavit from Typhon. If I sign, don't I'm make me choose not this. To press charges in exchange for a payment, a big one. Uh, that's shady. That's so shady. Why would they be offering you money if they didn't do anything wrong? They say it's an offer of good faith, but you're right. 
He's dead because of them. Oh no, I'm influencing. And I'd be letting them off. Are you gonna sign it? I don't know. I'm trying to put Ethan first, but... What would you do? Fuck. Do you think it would be a betrayal of Gabe? I'm gonna throw up. You know, if I had more Twitter, Twitter, Instagram, and Tumblr followers, and I was more of a social media influencer, maybe I have uh, more experience in this. This influence. Anyway, jokes aside, hell no, I don't know what to do. Because I've seen people get screwed in real life over essentially this. This makes me uncomfy. Me too. I'm not cool with this. Oh no. What? Oh. I feel like taking the money would relieve some stress now. But like, like we said, it's super shady. There's got to be a reason why they're like, here's some shutting up money. Please shut up. But I think it would be more stressful up front, but a bigger payoff in the long run. Um, I'd tell you what I do in real life, which is probably from the information I have, take the offer. As a child, this person, I know what I do, but if I had a kid, I don't know. Yeah, exactly. Like, that's a it's a whole other factor that us non-procreators don't really know of. It's a letdown of values to accept the hush-up money. Seems like she wants to take it. I know, that's the thing, is it's like, by turning the offer down, do you bust this case wide open? Or do you just screw yourself out of good faith money? Because there's no case here. Why am I in charge of this? We met like 12 hours ago. Oh. Because it's weird. Because I'm thinking about it. And I'm like, if my mom turned this down, I'd be so pissed at her. I love my mom as much as I can. But, uh... Uh, I, I, I can hear the copyright music. I'm sorry. I know it's hard, but you can't let Typhon buy you off. Oh, I don't really, I'm so uncomfortable Gabe with this. Gabe made that call, and I'm going to prove it. I just, I need some time. Great, the stakes are so much higher now. Thanks for being honest. Can't there just be a button that says, like, wait a couple of days? If they're willing to pay Charlotte to keep quiet, they're definitely hiding something. Or we've really just been watching too many five. conspiracy so videos. Look around if you want. Yeah, okay. I didn't like that. Um, okay. Dope. We're just going to walk away from that. Ooh, look t-shirts of the weed dragon do I have to turn because that's what got me in trouble last time I'm just going to turn the music volume down a bit more yes yeah just just in case I because I think that's what got claimed was like ambient background music in the bar and I'm like I didn't get to hear MXM tunes sing, and I still got copyrighted anyway. The internet is a prison when it comes to music. Ooh, gummies. Circumstances, I could definitely go for a few of these. Those things destroy my brain. There's nothing quite like a cup of weed on a cold day. Never had that. Well. We'll just say I've never had that. Charlotte's dedication to her art is so inspiring. 
Um, that's pretty. And informative. Uh. I'm always here for you if you need anything. Can I get a thanks weed combo number two with a diet soda? And he did it all with one rusty saw and a bottle of gin. Impressive. Built in 1919, the Qual Feather Sanatorium operated successfully until its closing in 1927. Under the guidance of Dr. Martin Kellogg, over 500 influenza and tuberculosis patients were treated and cured. Oh, mazel. I hope that's accurate. Something else I've learned from my... Our, <laughs> our histories are drenched in blood research is the mishandling of uh, people through medicine as well as, you know, racism and homophobia and all that all that awful biz. Can I have a shirt? Sweet logo. Bet Charlotte designed it herself. Maybe someday I'll have merch. Anyway. Okay, I guess that was it. Yeah, edibles, like, destroy me. But it's also, like, I think I just misjudge portion sizes. Follow the rules, follow the law, be responsible, all that good stuff. For all you non, I guess it's 21, right? Non-21ers out there. That guy's still having the same one angry thought I about work. Flower shop for Mac. Or do we look for flowers at the Mac shop? Um. It's oh, fine. thank you. I love being on hold. Everyone's saying. Okay, Brian why is that mean an alternate reality? No, nah, dude, keep your AAA. Ah! ah! Bye! Steph asked me to pop by the record store if I had time. Hell yeah. So, anyway, before the before the alternate version of myself screamed into our brains, people were saying uh kind things under the subject of myself and merch. So thank you. That's very encouraging. Um that's something where it's like, I want to have a, an idea that I'm excited about and confident in it before I would move forward. But believe me when I say, should that moment ever arise, I will be very open and vocal about it. Or it'll be a secret drop. Everyone look under your seats. Um... Looks like Steph might be working on a new project. Hell yeah. What's up, hoodie guy? Oh, let's... Are these his comics? That poor kid. Time to pay a visit to an old friend, Snap. Or should I say, an old enemy? You don't belong here, Monster Slayer. I'm not leaving here till I get answers. You won't be leaving at all. Wow, that wasn't a good choice for my voice. No! Where is the Sky Sword? Fine, I'll tell you. The sword was seen in the city of Carneris. Carneris? But it's infested with were spiders. All who quest for that sword lose something dear to them. But I'm destined to save the realm with the Sky Sword. Good thing you won't be questing alone, Alwyn. Sweet. There's a whole universe going on there. so dope anyway i need to focus oh kitty val i just want to be friends i thought we we the kitty liked us because we played the toys how could chrissy leave me oh buddy After everything we've been through together it's hard to beat breakup music but maybe i can find something around here to cheer him up oh my god <laughs> he's literally in the breakup music category that's so funny 
I didn't even see that. Uh, something to cheer him up. I hope we all get to see more adventures of Thanor. Oh, that shit makes me sad. I will talk to you in just one second, Steph. I'm gonna help Hoodie Guy. Where, what? The bulletin board? Should I offer him a class? Wait, Chrissy, she's a dog. Oh. Wait, this is a raccoon. New dialogue unlocked. Okay. Speak. Hey, you posted about a lost dog, right? I think they have her over at Todd's Hardware. Are you serious? Oh my gosh, yay! Thank you so much. I'll call them right now. Yay, okay, we did a good today. Hi, I'm calling about the lost dog. Chrissy? Oh, do you just watch this play is she out? Okay? Well, please be oh, okay. Thank God. Is Ooh. she there now? Oh, awesome. Yes. Thank you so much. Can I pick her up today? No sweat. Take your time. I'll wait. Yay. Okay. Have a good one, hoodie guy. Can we get W's in the chat for hoodie guy? Shout out to the pulley. That startled me. I've only got a sec, but... Have you talked to Ethan at all? He's taking it really hard. But what you did for me this morning got me thinking. What if Ethan needs something like that too? Yay, something okay, we helped. Distracting. Something, something like, like, like yeah. That. Like the one you and Gabe were gonna take him to? Yeah, but designed just for him <gasps> and Thanor. Oh, my heart. He'll love that. Yeah, I'm glad you think so. I need your help though. I want it to be as good as it can be. Ooh. Ethan gave you one of his comics, right? So, Ooh. What do you think? Who would the famous monster slayer have the most fun defeating? Oh shit, I don't know. Was I gonna be quizzed on this lore? I guess they're both centered around death. Oh, I could have talked to Ethan while walking around outside. Well, now you tell me. <laughs> no sweat. Um. I guess I'd go with Underworld. Like, Undead and Zombies might be a rough time right now, but I like that design more. But that one's got ghosts. Yeah, I like the undead one. Storm Rider looks like a worthy opponent. He gets my vote. <laughs> this action has consequences right, and will scar the child for life. Oh, I, I gotta get back in there. There's some stuff in my comp book. It'd be cool if you could check it out. Help me make some calls. I'll see what I can do. Hey, uh, Haven listeners. That was Phone Tap with their new single, Elephant in the Room. We've got huh. a sweet block of indie rock coming down the pike, but first, a few announcements. The Spring Festival is just around the corner, sponsored by Titan Mining Company. Admission is free this year, so bring your friends, bring your family. Hell, bring your ex. I'm sure it'll be different this time. Huh. Oh. Looks like Steph wants me to do more than just make some decisions. She wants me to play a bard. Oh shit, do I have to make choices? I'm so bad at this. Half elf, bard, distortion field, or healing serenade? Level one, health points ten. How did you meet Thanor? Guess I'm in. Uh Let's we met at a timeshare presentation. Um Oh, Alvin was a character that already exists, right? So I shouldn't do that? Or I should, because then it proves that I'm a fan. It, it proves that I'm a stan of his uh, work. Alright, why 
I guess we'll do that. That action icon. Throwback to Ethan's old buddy. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Ability time. Distortion field sounds fun, but healing serenade could really come in handy. Uh. Yeah, we'll go with healing. Healing serenade it is. How did I meet Thanor? Um. Funny story. A wolf and an ogre walk into a bar. Oh, oh God. Oh. This LARP thing just might work. I hope I did that good. I've tried to get into like D and D and stuff before. It's I need a little more guidance than what D and D would call for. Typically. Um. All right, so we did that. We helped the hoodie guy. I'm assuming there's nothing left to do. It's sweet. She's planning a whole LARP for Ethan. I'm gonna get the hell out of here before the frickin' music gets me in trouble. Because it's really frustrating that uh, the muting licensed music didn't uh, didn't really help the situation on my end. But it is what it is. I do love the LARP, though. Like, I like... The concept of it makes my heart grow three times its size. But also, I... I don't know. It seems you like... still need to check the flower shop for Mac. I know. I'm doing the fun things, okay? What are you thinking about? Nothing? Cool. Um... I don't know. It makes me happy... Where was the frickin'... Us the books... General Man, store. These overnight shifts really take it out of me. Yeah, my sleep schedule's fucked. Coffee yep. Morning. Work don't care about the workers. Ooh, a wildflower. Where the heck is the friggin' flowers? No, no. That's that's the that's the good good. It's all the other drugs. Rocky Mountain Records. Ice cream. Can we just get ice cream? I get it. Do people just not want ice cream anymore? What? I, I want ice cream like budget. literally right now. Three days a week, we'll be able to scrape by. Is that it? Are we always just going to scrape by? This is stressful. We're losing our business. But it's like everything's a joke to him. She must feel so alone. He's right. I have to keep up a brave face Yeah, for I was going to say he's She loves our store so much. He's trying to he be optimistic. Be it's not working. Hope they figure it out. Uh Rum raisin Me too. It's surprisingly addictive. You haven't been putting actual rum in it again. Here we go. Well, uh, shout out to small businesses, and especially that one with the ice cream. Oh, it's too late. I didn't find Ethan. My bad. up Eleanor oh <gasps> sorry <laughs> no need to apologize how are you dear um oh. not great I'm um 
adjusting? Still just trying to adjust, I think. Give yourself some time. Change is always hard. Agreed. Uh, is Mac here? Oh, he was helping me not too long ago. I think he just left. He can't have gotten too far. If only you weren't helping that hoodie guy, you would have made it in time. Damn. Now, what was I? Uh. Hmm. Oh, no. Please don't give me an Alzheimer's dementia thing right now. She looks terrified. I can't leave her like this. Free your mind. Is it anxious? Is that what the purple is, right? Or fear? Blue is sad. Okay. Time to figure out why she's afraid. Well, I mean, we're all afraid of money. It's the root of all evil. All my memories, all my memories are fading. Yup. Fuck. I feel broken. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. The doctor said I had more time, but everything is becoming so out of order. Ooh, shit. If they know if they about know my condition, my condition, they'll make me close, make this, me place. close this place. Um. Um. If Riley finds out. She can't, she can't find out. No. Oh, God. <laughs> Thank you, dear. I'll get started on it right away. Just come by with the check whenever you're free. Oh, my God. Nope. Not okay. Oh. Oh. Jesus, I I I love this idea on paper. I hate living it. Just that she forgot what she was doing. She's afraid she's forgetting everything. But how can I help her? I don't know, but this is terrifying as hell. Holy shit. Um. Um. We did the flower. Good God. Help button? Forget what you were working on? Could say I'm having a bit of a senior moment. <laughs> well, At least you get a discount at Denny's. Um. Retrace your steps. Seems like you have a lot going on today. I could help you retrace your steps. Oh, well, uh, I don't want to keep you. Hey, I, I want to help. Ooh. Yay, accepting help. Okay, what would Eleanor have done first? I don't know. The friggin' the phone, the sign. You must have flipped the sign to open. 
I always flip it first thing when I come in. And then I open my mail. Something must have distracted me. Better. We can do this. Okay. Um, um, um. The phone ringing? Or someone walking in? The phone? Could a phone call have distracted you? Yes. Oh, thank God. I got a call first thing in the morning. But I can't think who it was. Maybe we can find something to remind you. Of, of what you really are? Was it... Was it Riley? Could it have been Riley who called? I think that's right. She called to tell me about a new order. Who? Oh, goodness. What was the order for? Lovely picture of both of you. Okay, let's go. It was probably for these flowers in the frig. Still don't know why flowers go in the frigs, but okay. Rush order. This must be what Riley came in for. Yeah. Yep. I think that order might have been for these lilies. Of course. Riley helped me pick them up before she left. Now we just have to figure out who ordered them. Oh shit. Um, um. Uh, check the register for the check. The check for the lilies would be in here, right? That could tell us who bought them. Should. Shout out to the last person on Earth using paper checks. Mr. Jedediah Lucan. Huh. Oh, Jed. Looks like the lilies are for Jed. That's right. Riley dropped off an order for Jed. Oh shit. Yay. Okay, good. I knew you'd figure it out. Please also I couldn't have done it without you. Talk to Riley or a doctor Seriously, or something. Alex, you're a godsend. Jed must be hosting some event. I wonder why he wants lilies though. Fuck. They're traditionally for funerals. God. She doesn't remember. Or nobody told her. What the hell kind of choice is that? Spare her the pain or tell her about Gabe. I mean, it's just going to make it worse if she's like... Like, she's going to have to be informed of it or remember eventually... Yeah, I'm okay. Thank you for asking. I just... Good God. You know... It's... It's scary when that shit happens to people around you. And... Visuals of it were really startling and jarring i'm gonna tell her i feel like that i i don't believe in the, the they were, alternative they were for gabe's wake gabe's wake fuck gabe's wake i missed it no, you didn't. It's still going on right now. Let's go right now. You're bringing the flowers. Holy shit, I didn't even think of that. Alex. I'm... I'm so sorry. Dude, stop. Excuse me. No, take a minute, but feel what you're feeling. Holy shit. It wouldn't be life is strange. You'd have to make really hard choices. Yeah, but for real, though. That sucked. But at least I told her the truth. Uh. 
She's really hurting, but I didn't want to lie to her. Yeah, lying would have made it a lot worse. I think. But shit, I didn't think of, like, she wasn't at the argument. Can I have a t-shirt? Okay, we're gonna leave. Fuck, dude. Ooh. Just. Ooh, god damn. Um, a wig is a form of service for when someone passes. Uh, I believe that's the version kind of like what we saw where like there's pictures up or sometimes the casket is there. I don't know. Eleanor said Mac is nearby. My family doesn't do. I don't see him here. Funerals, which Maybe annoys me. Yeah, wake is a, a, a step or a variant of a funeral. It's the picture was up and everyone was speaking. Um, sometimes the casket is there. Uh, you just did a complete like pirouette. That was impressive for a computer. Where am I going now? Fuck. I thought that said bored girl. Oh, it's that guy's sister. All right, bye. I feel so bad for her. Getting sick of people feeling bad for me. Oh, awake is more community based. Okay, that would make more sense. But yeah, it's a service. Um, where am I going? Oh, is that what the buttons were? It's for the LARP and stuff. Looks fun to explore. I used to babysit Ethan when he was little. This whole thing is so horrible. What's up, you glasses see him guy? Over by the water? Yeah. There's literally nothing I can do for Ethan. I feel so useless. I've been there. Third watcher? You're writing a novel? Since when? They're looking at me like I'm writing the novel. Also, what's up, boyfriends? No idea what I'm doing. What if I die tomorrow? Jesus. Like okay, me. We're gonna go. What have I done with my life? I don't have any easy answers for that. Hey, buddy. Ah, oh, shit. Hey, Alex. Um. You okay? Are you doing okay? I'm fine. Jesus. All right, kid. Okay, definitely not mine. Everyone needs to stop telling me it's okay. It's not. Fuck. Yeah. Losing Gabe's been hard enough for a supposed grown-up like me. But for Ethan... I'm here for you, whenever you need me. Oh, did I screw up I'm my chance to you, talk to the kid? Yep. Whenever you need me. Cool. All right, ma'am. Damn. Yeah, there's lots of different ways to do a service. My family, in my memory anyway, hasn't really ever done one. And uh, when my grandpa passed uh, right before Halloween of 2019, um, with winter and everything coming up, we decided to wait until spring of 2020 to do his service. And, well, all that happened. So we're still waiting to do that. And it looks like 
we're shooting for spring of 22. So. Still waiting. It, it's hard. Sometimes. Uh, can. Is there. A... Uh, search for Mac near the flower shop. Okay. Excuse me. Random citizen, have you seen an asshole walk by? This is near the flower shop, right? Alex, I'm so sorry about before. I really did appreciate your help. It just hit me hard. Don't apologize. It's been hard for all of us. Yeah, I think that was the right call. Uh, I did that. I think Ethan's going to love it. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, it's just, you know, state of the world. My family's also very uh, spread out and... Um, Oh, there's that asshole. Uh, the place where he would... Where he... He only really asked for one thing. And it's a specific place. And none of us live near that place. He grew up... Um, in a different part of the West Coast than where... Most of my family lives. And where my grandma lives. And... I'm all the way out here. So it's like... Everyone's kind of spread out. And we all have to go to like... A far away spot. So it's just challenging with everything going on to do that uh, safely and logistically. But thank you. Anyway, let's read this asshole's so brain. Fucked. Can't hide from me forever, Mac. Is that all he's thinking? All right, cool. Mac. Alex. Look, it's not a good time. Man, fuck you. You an explanation about what happened to Gabe. What? Costing me my girlfriend wasn't enough for you? Now you're gonna accuse me of killing Gabe, too? Um... I get that you're afraid? I get it. He died on your shift, and you're freaked. But you have to come clean. Yeah, dude, this isn't about your horrible way you treated your girlfriend. Please. There's nothing I can tell you. Mac, come on. He was my big brother. Ooh. I can't. Oh no? Something definitely has him scared. Maybe if I could tap into his fear, I could get to the truth. You just see the Illuminati watching all of us from our phones and from the satellites. This goes deeper than you think. I could use to push him over the edge. So push him? Like literally push him? It's kind of dangerous. What do you think about? Everyone's out to get me. Alex, Ryan, even Riley. Fuck. Even Riley? Did something happen with her? Everyone's out to oh, get okay. me. Alex, we're done here. I'm gonna friggin' bite you. Oh no, I can't go this way in the demo. <laughs> All right, so go talk to Riley. Yeah, talk to Riley. Talk to Riley about Max Fear. It just turns out it's clowns. Hoo hoo hoo. How's your progress in Moondrop Ranch? Did you buy your chicken coop? As in Stardew Valley, or an actual place called Moondrop Ranch? It sounded like they were talking about. Stardew Valley, but couldn't say it by name. Riley. Where's Riley? Would she be... No, she wouldn't be at the flower shop now, would she? Do we find out where she is? Do we know where Riley is? I appreciate that, like, I can get lost like this, where it's like, oh, go in and out of the buildings and all that stuff. Oh, thank God. I'm like, please don't poop on me right now. That is a Stardew reference. Oh, that's dope. Okay. That sucked. But at least I told her the truth. I think she's in the alley where the girl and guy were. 
Okay. Okay, then I'll check there. Yeah, like, nudging me in- Oh my god, look at him go! <laughs> look at her go! Um, yeah, nudging me in the right direction is totally not a spoiler. Now, if you were like, oh, she's- She's in the apartment on the roof watching the sunset because, you know, she was the one who did the did the explosion all along. That's a spoiler, but no. Helping me get there faster. Or, like, letting me know what direction to go. Oh, sweet. Sorry, got a random. My bills are being automatically paid on time. Sweet. That's good, because I'm using the internet right now. I just need to find something I could use to push him over the edge. Phrasing, but I know what you're going for. So, okay, so she's outside. You're not really. There's the bald guy who screams in his brain. Uh, there you are. Man, my phone is just going off in class today. I'm so sorry, everybody. That didn't ring through the stream, did it? Because it popped up on my MacBook. Hey, Riley. So I heard it in my headphones. Alex. Hey. Um, gotta run. Um, Eleanor. You and Eleanor seem close. She's taken care of me ever since I was little. I never really knew my mom, but she's always been there for me. Jesus. What does she think about you going away to school? Oh, you did she's hear it? Thrilled. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm glad it wasn't I think loud. She just wants me to end up happy. Um. That's sweet. That's really sweet. She's the most selfless person I know. I know having you work with her in the shop has meant the world. Yeah. To both of us. Dope. Thanks, Life is Strange. I know you and Gabe were close. How are you doing? I miss him so much. He was like an older brother to me. Um, I'm glad he had you, I think sounds, I don't, what's the difference between I'm glad you had him, like, you poor thing, or like, I'm glad he had you, like, you helped him a lot. You helped him a lot. I'm glad he had you. Right? Yeah. That Thank felt you, comforting. Alex. Really? Okay, anyway. Tea, that please. Fight Mac had with Gabe over your secret meetings. They were about you applying to college, right? Yeah. Ever since the first time Mac lost his shit in front of him, Gabe and Charlotte had tried to get me to end things with him. Good. And after all this, I can see that they were right. Yeah, sometimes that takes time. Um. Do you think Mac's telling the truth, question mark? Do you think he's telling the truth about the call? That Gabe never made it? No, I... I it's not that... I... Sorry. I'm really not ready to talk about it. Uh, uh... Talking might help? Are you sure? Sometimes talking about it can help you sort it all out. That felt manipulative. I'm just not there yet. Okay. I gotta run. There's some stuff I need As to As someone do. trying to, like, 
it experienced okay. the story, I wanted that response. In reality, I don't think I'd push that hard. I don't want to push Riley, but I need to know more about Mac. How do I get her to open up? By going into her brain. He's innocent. Why is he acting like this? Because he's acting not. Like what? Oh my god, we just went back to the bench. Want to talk about Mac? Do we have all the powers? He's acting so weird. Uh, Shout out to Life is Strange 1. It's just... If he didn't do anything wrong, why is he acting like he has something to hide? Did you just read my mind? Like, can you imagine? He asked me to leave Haven with him. Oh, damn. Right after the wake. He wouldn't tell me why. But he just looked so guilty. Yeah. He's a I part of something, know. but I don't think and he's like a mastermind. Done. Those flowers now, are having a fit. I'm scared. He did something horrible. Riley. Thank you for telling me. You deserve the truth. Look at those flowers. They look like uh, like picnic blanket run. things. Like the like the umbrellas There's over like a picnic I table. Okay. Sick. Does this get so intense that I have to we'll like go soon. tell the police that he's thinking about leaving town? Yeah. Whenever you want. Mac trying to skip town is look at him. Shit. I bet I could use that to stoke his fear. Yes. Kingdom Hearts 3 taught me to face my fears. Life is Strange 3 teaches you to stoke the fires of one's fears. It looks like the flower behind Riley looked like it was about to start singing and we're just in Wonderland. I should make sure there's nothing else I want to do before I confront Mac. Sorry that sounded so awful. I don't know it. So, um, Am I missing anything? I think I'm just gonna go for it, right? This looks like a slow walk for like a reality show or something. Money owns this town. Okay, anyway. Everyone's out to get me. Yep. What Riley told me might do it, but I should make sure there isn't anything I still want to do around town first. Quick chat. Is there anything I'm missing around town? I don't know how bad the chat delay is, but I feel like I'm ready. I feel like we did a pretty good job. I think you're good to go. Boom. Okay. Trusting you. Let's do this. Your ex-girlfriend told me about your plans to skip town. That's not something innocent people do. Damn, but like, also be careful. It's not... I didn't do anything. Damn, that's a lot of rage panic. Hello? Ew! Hello? Is it spooky? Guys, is this a horror game? Or are we taking on his emotion and we think everybody's out to get us? Ew. Oh, I love it. What the? Ew. Are the flowers staring at me? Ew. Oh, it's a security camera. I'll deal with Mac when I get to him. For now, I need to learn everything I can. Okay. Typhon's always watching. They run this whole town. Yup. Told ya. This quiet little mountain town. This provincial life. So are they like actually following me or are we just feeling his paranoia? Eh, 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 eh. 
Mac feels like everyone's yeah. staring at him. Dope. I everyone fucking love I it. Killed him. They all hate me. They hate you because you're an asshole. This is amazing. I didn't do anything wrong. See, I, I, I wonder if he was negligent about something. But again, that's not like his fault. It should have been you instead. Damn. Oh. Ew. Oh, I don't like it. Oh, I don't like it. Oh, I don't like it. No. Stop. There are out there. Links in the description. All the way they looked to me at the wake. They all think I let him die. I know why you're lying. Uh. You made a mistake. I know you didn't mean for Gabe to get hurt, but you screwed up and it's time to come clean. I'm not the reason he's dead. So it is Typhon, okay. Typhon's forcing you to deny the call. Whatever you think you know. Dude, was I right? Oh my god, don't take the fall, right? I know you tried to stop it. They fucked up, not you. Stop lying for them! You don't get it. Oh my god. This wasn't some accident. I told them you were down there, and they detonated anyway. On purpose? Why? I don't know. I swear. And then I get a message telling me to deny there was ever a call. Okay, I'm glad we didn't take the hush money now. You gotta believe me. Oh my god. Gabe and I, we didn't get along, but I, I didn't want him dead. Now, now Typhon's watching me. My girlfriend, she, she thinks I'm a murderer? She's not your girlfriend. My neighbors all hate me. I mean, what, what, what the fuck am I supposed to do? Call, like, the real authorities or I think I can business calm bureau? Down, but does he deserve it? <sighs> yes, because it will get us to the truth. Right? That's the right thing to do. This, this, this is a trap. We need to be doing this. More, more peace, less walking away. Right? Right? No, that's not how Gabe died. Sorry, I'm kind of looking at chat. Um, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna calm him down because I, he's got information that we need. All right, Mac. Come on. You gotta calm down, okay? Dude, stay with me. I know what it's like to be doubted. To have everyone think the worst of you. Is that a glitch or am I glowing yellow? It'll come out. I'll make sure of it. Is glowing Mountain Dew green? If Typhon comes after you, the they're gonna power? have to get through me too, okay? Damn. How different is this game if you just tell him to piss off? Thanks. I actually feel a little better. <laughs> You're still a piece of shit, but yeah. Yeah, well, you learn a thing or your two. Mental health is important out, too. Your whole life. <laughs> so, I'm tugging at my beard. What are you going to do now? Don't leave Haven. I'm going to get to the truth. Holy crap. No, that's still not... I think you're kind of missing the point of the... The visual there. It's... He's having those thoughts of doing that himself. Over the guilt and everyone blaming him. 
a cut rope wouldn't do that to Gabe as he fell. I think the fall in the rocks did it. I think that hey. was thoughts he was having. Yeah, it's... Can we talk? Where are you? Okay. How, like, this is one of those moments where, like, I feel like the game has to branch off in this, like, super different way. Like, like, if you tell Ethan's mom, I forget her name, uh, I forget her name, but, like, if you tell her to, like, take the hush money... And then you just ignore that dude. Like, would this just be him just 100% taking the fall at some point? We're going to meet the Wolf Brothers in the woods. Hello? Oh, sup, dude? You were right. About... Typhon about Mac. Alex. Mac got the call. How do you know that? He got the call and he lied about it. Doesn't matter. Someone is putting pressure on him to keep quiet. Someone that from Michael the was. line and it doesn't matter. Bruh, come on. I keep coming here. And playing it back. But it always ends the same. Ryan. He's dead. Fuck. He's really dead, Alex. Oh, I don't want to go into the rage zone. But I love that she still does the life is strange reach, but it's to make contact. That's really cool. my fault my job is to keep people safe and I failed uh Typhon did this you saved me both all of it really you helped everybody and this was a far beyond us you saved me Ryan I owe you my life I owe you a life debt. She's wrong. I let her cross that log. I put Gabe in harm's way. I'm not a hero. I'm a coward. Jesus. Worse than worthless. Um. Neither of us is worthless. Yeah. I know what it's like to feel worthless and helpless. But we saved Ethan. And you saved me. It doesn't matter. Gabe's dead. Because of me. Gabe. I'm so sorry. No, 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 no. Uh... Forgive yourself, but he was saying, Gabe, uh, uh, forgive yourself. There's only one person holding you responsible for this, Ryan. You need to forgive yourself. You're not alone. <laughs> oh, thank fuck. 
Jesus Christ. Oh shit. Like my hands are getting sweaty as hell. Holy shit, life is strange. <laughs> whoa, whoa, hold on. <laughs> There's a guy in a gorilla suit? <laughs> Does he also jump off of the cliff and into the pool? No, no. Yay. He chases a guy in a banana suit. That guy jumps <laughs> off the cliff and into the pool. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry. This is a Mexican restaurant? Eh, Ooh. nominally. <laughs> <laughs> the food is, uh, well, terrible. But it's Gabe's favorite place. <laughs> I tell you, he's the oldest 12 year old I know. Can I ask you something? Of course. You came up here to tell me that I was right about Mac. About him getting the call. How did you know? Because the motherfucker told me. There's something you should know about me. Oh, we're going for it, huh? And it's going to be easier to show you than to explain it. This is going to seem sort of weird at first. Then really weird. Do you trust me? Uh, I guess think of something scary or something s sad, scary. Okay. Think of something that just scares the shit out of you. Really focus until you feel it. Oh god, it's clowns. Clowns on rollerblades. Mac. Typhon. All of it. You're afraid you won't know how to handle it without Gabe. Damn, we went for like a real fear. Never knew anyone so good at getting into and out of trouble. Oh, I, I think something happened to his hair. Oh, man. This one time. Oh, it's because he's glowing. Oh my gosh, it's a happy color! Oh! Ooh. Whatever it is you're thinking about right now, don't stop, okay? Oh, shit. Keep going. Oh, I really love that. God. What emotion is this? Oh shit, do we just T-pose this emotion so good? <laughs> it's happiness. <laughs> oh shit. can spot a goose grave at a hundred paces <laughs> the Mounties <laughs> oh come on man <laughs> I'm sorry <laughs> I'm sorry how long were you gonna let me dig <laughs> well, I wasn't gonna stop you 
<laughs> okay, so we dug a hole. Oh, that's a lot of blood, huh? But hey, this is serious. Killing a Canadian goose is a violation oh. of international law. Did he shut up? It is not trick him into bearing a goose property of the crown. The the crown of property of the crown, Gabe. <laughs> what do we do? <laughs> Gabe. Goose. I see it. Okay, so It'll that's move. the order then. It's not moving. It'll move. Gabe! Oh, okay, I thought it was saying not. like just pick them and then rearrange them. Okay, well, so, nailed it. Property of the crown? <laughs> really? <laughs> well, they are technically. I was gonna say under the Migratory Bird Treaty Act. Isn't there some sort of <laughs> possibility there? <laughs> How? Um, superhero. We're not talking down so, about ourselves. I guess I have this power. I can see other people's emotions. They show up like an aura, and if I get too close, I really glad I happiness is a part of this. As if I was feeling it myself. And when I focus, I can even understand why they're feeling it. And that's what you just did with... with me? Whew. Some kind of power. No kidding. Yeah, I think the lighting is just looking weird on his hair it's, or something. It's only ever been the bad emotions before. That, that was pure joy. Yeah. Who else knows? Gabe did. But now I guess just you. Oh, could I have told Steph by now? And that's how I know Max terrified of Typhon. He reported Gabe's call, and they ignored it. Now they're putting pressure on him to toe the line. Okay, but... why? I don't know yet. Someone made the decision to let the blast go off. Seems like finding out who would be a good start. So, you're going after Typhon? I keep thinking Tyson, like, is in the Chicken Nugget company. And I'm like, we're help. taking down the Chicken Boys. You don't have to. You're stuck with me now. Uh, handshake. Okay, then. Team up. Do the buddy cop thing. Wolf squad. <laughs> You're a loose cannon, Chen, but you get results. <laughs> the story is more linear than it seems. Okay, that's good to know. Is it more like two then, or more like one? Because one only had like two endings, right? But then Life is Strange 2 had like six. But it was like a good and bad version of three different endings. I'm just going to say a bunch of numbers. Fuck. <laughs> 
I loved that a lot. Like, just like after feeling all that pain, the paranoia, the fear, even like the dementia moment, and then also that being kind of last for this stretch of t- of narrative, right? It's like, oh yeah, that positivity, happiness is also a feeling. I there's it's something about it. Give it so much weight. I miss you. Thanks a lot, copyright. Oh, because they'll kind of hear it. Well, there's videos on this channel about the second one. Am I allowed to listen to this song without getting in trouble? Sorry, I'm just going to double check real quick. Mute license music on. Okay. Well, as long as, as long as I'm good to go. Um Oh shit. Yeah, I was I I regret now that joke at the beginning of the stream where I said, "Oh, like tangled." I didn't speak this morning. I couldn't. Hearing everyone talk about him, about the life he had here with all of you. It was strange. But I lost the chance to have that. But even though I only had one day with him, he changed my life. I said, I didn't know if I belonged here. Hmm. He told me that home isn't something you find. Ooh, damn. It's something you build. It's a good song, whatever song this is. Yay, okay, that's really lovely. I guess the lady with the blazer doesn't have emotions, huh? Or she's just not feeling anything right now, which is fine and valid too. Oh, she's so scared. That was kind of spooky time to get the achievement. Holy crap. It's really lovely. Damn. I wish the stats were kind of the same as they used to be, though. I, I, I miss seeing the percentages, even though I know it's still, like, within a week of it dropping. So maybe the stats just aren't there yet, but I miss seeing, like, the percentages of what other people did. Um, Alex calmed Mac down from his panic attack. Mac had to deal on his own. Uh, Alex reminded Eleanor about what happened. Eleanor forgot about Gabe's death. Charlotte signed the agreement. Charlotte didn't take Typhon's money. Charlotte signed the agreement after Alex didn't visit her. Damn, so yeah, if you don't go, it just does something. Jesus. Um, Alex didn't sit on the edge of the dock. Alex enjoyed a quiet moment on the dock. Oh, did I miss a different sitting spot? Was that important? Uh, Alex tidied up the apartment. Alex left the mess for later. Alex put the album on Gabe's memorial table. Alex put a photograph on Gabe's memorial table. Alex didn't have anything to the memorial table. Uh, Alex looked at the happy face on the dartboard didn't look at the oh no am I like would sitting on the dock taking a moment to think of Gabe looking at a smiley face on the dartboard am I like 
decreasing her mental health or something because it just seemed like innocent nice things uh almond for the larp spent time thinking about game uh alex back ryan's claim at the wake steph made storm rider the larp boss um uh we didn't help the bird watcher we did help the sad dude find his dog although he was called hoodie man um ryan accepted alex's forgiveness ryan was able to forgive himself alex offered ryan gabe's forgiveness oh wow okay ryan and alex shook at the ravine hugged at the ravine does that really make the big of a difference alex claimed the title of foosball champion okay holy crap Whew. there should be a percent i mean who knows there could be all kinds of factors we've had a couple of glitches and a couple of errors um i might end up just kind of restarting my playstation because of a troubleshoot reboot thing that happened um yeah it could be because it's not it's in like stream stream friendly mode so it could be that um holy crap yeah i'm so invested in this now like that was amazing like and i i'm not a genius by any means you know um i have a very medium amount of education and i didn't retain all of it called it i'm not to say like oh if i was wrong i wouldn't be into it but obviously my my theory stemmed from more of what i wanted than anything else and i'm i'm really into this as well as like exploring the power like as dark and hard as that got at times i'm really like blown away by the some of the directions that it's going in and the different things that it's touching on like the panic but then adding in the alzheimer's that was really hard which i mean you know i think that's just indicative of someone closer to um me being closer to my older relatives i think that just hit really hard um but uh i loved like incorporating different elements like that and like i said the introduction of happiness that blew my mind like i loved like i was saying like feeling that last after feeling all the other ones all the all these other feelings and situations throughout the day and it it kind of left this like very beautiful reminder given how heavy everything is uh link to a card in the description that will take you to resources by the way just a reminder um but it, it gave me that feeling of happiness is also an emotion too like it, it gave me that credence to it um it like just it was a nice pacing i really like the writing so far um despite some of the the glitches despite the issues with streamer safe mode and then on top of that like you could have replaced the music i think but like on top of that then like it not working 100 percent minus those things glitches are one thing streaming is its own unique version of experiencing the game so that's unique to my situation or a different streamer situation um i'm really loving this i'm i really want to know what's going on i loved the paranoia i loved how scary everything felt um and like it almost feels like when you shift into all these different mindsets like the genre kind of shifts with it too um i don't know i i'm really pleased with how they're uh handling everything and like i don't know like i said too like feeling like when i was cleaning stuff up in the apartment like when i finally got all the things cleaned it was like oh uh clean a clean clean space clean headspace or something like that like a coping mechanism and i i really loved that and it's i don't know it's really fascinating and i think i think all my theories basically just got like confirmed and spent already you know like i'm like oh he 
he he did everything right but he like missed something oh it's it goes deeper than one person like it's a it's a town kind of conspiracy kind of thing and now it's like okay kind of yeah now what and i'm just like um I, I really couldn't tell you what's gonna happen next other than trying to interview or i guess not interrogate but like engage with uh um like the someone like in authority in the town the cop or uh maybe even jed or that rich guy or that lady the mysterious lady um someone who like knows more stuff because now i'm wondering if she that lady who looked at us still anxious during the the lantern service the the rapunzel's rapunzel's tangled adventure uh funeral meet and greet um that whole exchange i'm wondering if whatever's going on with the mining facility and stuff if that's why she moved to this town is because she either works for them or she's been investigating them um but i really loved that um it's so fascinating and like i saw chat bring it up a couple times too and i completely agree where it's like the the dialogue has just improved so much from the first one and the writing has improved so much too and i think part of that just feels like on top of the confidence of having successful games under your belt for the concept of life is strange i think there's something too to be said about like people writing for their own demographic i guess or their own age group like it doesn't give me the feeling of like someone older than me trying to think how people half my age talk to each other you know what i mean um but uh i'm really digging it and i'm i'm really curious to see what's happening in this town and like did did like gabe know something about the mining company or i'm also wondering if because i'm trying to think like what good would it do to hurt to like harm someone on the trails because the mining company wants control over everything i guess you try to run people out but now i'm thinking what if it's the opposite and it's like oh somebody died in the mines now it's worthless the company won't own it like someone did it to stop the company from buying the town or buying the mine or something like to stop production you know like it was a awful terrible action but with like the reasoning being like i'm trying to protect the town or stop the company i'm trying to think like kind of like a reverse poltergeist if anyone's familiar with that movie from forever ago from long before i was born where it's like the real estate company moved the headstones but left the bodies so they could like create this suburb spoilers i guess for a movie from like the 70s or 80s from the 80s i guess um but it kind of gives me like a reverse thought of that where it's like instead of a company doing something to further their business i'm wondering if an individual did something to stop a business's or an industry's progression does that make sense because it feels a little too cut and dry right now to be like oh we we got rid of the brother because he was he was snooping around and got his nose and things that didn't belong to him or whatever whatever tropey thing you'd say in that kind of situation um I'm excited for the remasters if they look as good as this yeah i won't lie i'm kind of sitting here and i'm like i kind of wish as much as my budget for this channel is like always in the hole um watch and like and subscribe share the videos around with your friends um <laughs> post them on social media um i kind of wish i had spent 10 more dollars because i got the dlc pre-order so when wavelengths drops if people are still feeling this stream i'll do wavelengths because i'm finishing this game um we only have a couple more but uh we'll do that but i was like man now i kind of wish i'd spent the 10 more bucks to get the remasters of one and before the storm because now i'm like man if it's gonna look like this nice minus like the glitchy stuff i'm like or maybe it would just be smarter for me to wait until the bugs get kind of sorted out anyway um but now I'm like, man, I kind of wish, but 
I'm also like, I've played one and I still have the deluxe edition for Before the Storm. So I'm like, I don't want to spend extra money to get something I basically already have just a little more spruced up, you know? But, but like, this made me kind of regret it where I'm like, oh man, it'd be really cool to be able to like play, play those in a more updated way. Cause it's weird. Cause like, you know, um, Mike's console had, for some reason, I think he got it from like a subscription service or he got it for free with something or whatever, but he had a code for all of the first life is strange, which is then why I played the game. We had to use his console and all this stuff, but it was digital. I keep forgetting life is strange is like PS3 era, isn't it? Cause that's why there's no life is strange Two remaster because it was already dropped for the PS4. Um, but no, I'm, I love this so much. Like I am, I'm so glad because like, and it could still like somehow like it's very feasible for the last three chapters to like stumble and fall and not stick the landing for me. But when I saw what the concept was for this and I saw the first trailer and how it's like delving into like emotions and empathy as well as like a, a mystery kind of story. um, And it's like reading your emotions instead of reading your thoughts. I was really excited for it and it seems like they're just really nailing it like the visuals are so engaging like I want this to be like a mini series or something like I think that's really my only bummer is I'm like I just want to sit down and watch this show watch this story as opposed to making sure I play foosball right <laughs> um which I did I'm the pogue champ of foosball but uh I hope you guys enjoyed um thanks for keeping me company it's been a really stressful time with the things going on with my mouth um which everything's fine it's just patience and waiting and all that stuff and it's like things that couldn't have been avoided like it's not oh bill's not brushing his teeth or flossing or whatever uh, according to my dentist my gums and teeth are very boring minus this one issue that i'm having that's been recurring god since 2019 um so this has really been helping me kind of keep my mind off things because there's been nights where um pain or other stressors or appointments have been so much that uh i haven't been able to focus or i haven't been able to film like for a while i was in like too much pain and then like yelling and you know ooh, and all that stuff like i was starting to like hurt my mouth and hurt my jaw so i had to stop um and yeah, I don't want to get into the gross stuff of it, but like I had to stop filming for a while and haven't really been able to get back at it and still waiting to be able to do that. So I, I appreciate um, hanging out with me in the streams because it's still content that I can do. And, um, you know, it doesn't hurt me or anything. Otherwise, we wouldn't be doing it. But uh, I don't know. I appreciate you guys. I hope you enjoyed the stream. Hope everyone's doing well. Um, obviously, the themes... God, I had no idea it was going to be, like, this heavy, this fast. Like, I... Again, I kind of... I think I forget because, like, I played Life is Strange so long ago. Because I played it in, like, 2019. And then was, like, about to start editing the footage. And then everything happened with my grandpa. And then I just had all this footage... And then I just started editing it, and then I'm like, I don't really see a point in uploading this. And then 2020 happened, and then I was like, well, I have this, I have like five or six videos just chilling here for an extra stuff while we're sitting here for an extra six to eight weeks at the time, right? When we thought that was our situation, I'm like, let me drop this. I already have it made. Let's just drop it. So, like, I haven't played Life is Strange 1 in two years. So it's like all a complete blur to me. So like it, like we were saying kind of throughout chat, it's like, oh, that classic life is strange. And I'm like, is it though? And then I'm like, oh yeah, the thing with freaking Victoria and the thing with freaking like the, the flashback, we'll call it Uh spoiler free there. If, excuse me, if for some reason you're watching this, you haven't played the first one, but it's like, oh yeah that one was also really dark and heavy and scary and messed up and overwhelming at times like i forgot 
all about that like because i think two sticks in my mind more and not to say two is lighthearted by any means but like holy crap because that one had like a bit more of like that kate thank you victoria was the mean girl um because like two had more of like an action sci-fi movie with heavy emotions kind of a vibe to it where it's like oh man like you know Sean woke up in the hospital and it's like, well, yeah, because, you know, we were in a superhero laser fight. Like, it just, it had a different feeling to those moments than, you know, bullying, cyberbullying, peer pressure, uh, all that other, the the triggering stuff, you know? Like, it has a different flavor text to it, so it's like, then having this stuff happen again here, and I'm like, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Um... So yeah, I think maybe I should have just paid the extra ten dollars for a remastered one because maybe it'd just be nice to kind of revisit it. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, we'll do chapter three on Thursday. Obviously, if something something else crazy happens to my face and mouth, and I can't do it on Thursday, um, I will I will let you know. But um that's why the community posts on this channel go up um in like the mid afternoon ish is like that's when i know like something pretty freaky would have to happen for me to not have faith in doing a stream so it's important to subscribe and ring the bell put the settings to all so you're notified of the community posts the live streams uploads all that stuff here and on the main channel youtube.com slash the third bill um but yeah ring those things so you can just be notified of that um but yeah, plan is to do three on Thursday, four on M Monday, and then finish it up uh, end of next week. Um, and then hopefully by then wavelengths will drop. Um, and then we'll go into uh, then we'll go into spooky time, which uh, I need suggestions in the comments for some horror games to play. Um, I know Inside's a good idea. Um, that's on my radar. It's also short, so. I would still need games anyway um because that i think would take me maybe one stream um i have outlast 2 i have um oh what's it called the the one something blade hellblade i have hellblade which i don't know if that's a horror game i only do like light research on games so i don't want spoilers um but yeah, help me think of, of horror games for the PlayStation 4. Um, yeah, don't forget to like the stream. Thank you for the reminder. Um, thank you, Alana, for modding while you also mod dogs. Um, but yeah, I need some need some spooky ideas because um, I've 100%ed it until dawn, so it's not even like I can replay it and forget what happens. I know what happens. I haven't played any of the other Dark Picture Anthology games, but I don't know if they're any good. Has anyone recommended Little Nightmares? Who wants to tell them? Yo, check the check the playlists and the videos on the channel. <laughs> we did um, one years ago in 2019 um, when I was just doing Let's Plays on the main channel. Um, and then we did the DLC here on this channel. And then uh, two when it dropped. So go watch those, please. Um, that was back when I was doing Let's Plays with Mike. Um, but yeah, we definitely did those. It's okay. It happens Happens a lot more than you'd think. Someone will be like, oh man, do this. And I'm like, I got good news for you. Um, uh, probably not Five Nights at Freddy's. Um, just because I think it's a little overdone like i'm even debating whether or not i want to do outlast 2 because like jump scare things like like i don't know that just that kind of stuff just always is a different kind of feel for me um plus like i've seen some like i don't know what's real or anything i'm not a trusted source for things i've never played or don't know about but i see a bunch of stuff about five nights at freddy stuff and i'm like hey eh. seems like a lot of people are um not having a good time when that stuff trends right now but uh but also like i just don't like jump scare games i like like spooky games like actually like scary games um just like also like jump scare like that's just 
that doesn't just feel fun for me like i feel like i'd just be clenched and then like it would just be a loud time um because that's the other thing that's hard because again it's like i want a horror game but i don't want like a jump scare based kind of thing so i i don't want to spoil the ending for myself but i also want to see what the gameplay looks like um plus like i think those are just like done to death like i feel like if i was doing a gaming channel like five six years ago probably yeah but now it's just like if it's spooky time and somebody wants to watch uh five nights at freddy's video i feel like they would watch one of the big kids do it you know um No, it's okay, and it's, like, it's ultimately up to me. Like, you don't have to apologize. Like, I just, like I said, it didn't look like, because I saw it was trending, and I was like, oh, yeah, I guess there's a new game coming out. No one seemed like they were having a good time. So, I'm like, eh. Also, I have to think about um, mods. I have to think about Alana modding. She does not like heavy jump scare stuff, and she has to help me mod. So she'd be in, like, absolute hell while I'm not also having a great time, because I don't, like, jump scare games too much i get all my jump scares in a game but like you know i think both of us would be very miserable doing that um but i don't know i've been thinking about doing one of the dark anthology dark picture anthology things um yeah i've thought about doing outlast too like i said because i got the the trilogy that's like one of the first videos I did was just me playing Outlast. So I'm like, eh, I like doing it again. A heavy, heavily edited Let's Play without a camera facing me. So um, I've done those and I did the DLC. The DLC is graphic and intense. Like, I think that was the first video where I like had to put a little like disclaimer -y thing somewhere in there. Um, but, uh, yeah, I'm still debating Outlast 2 because, like I said, I'm like, I don't know how fun that would be. But uh, I, if anyone has ideas, let me know in the comments because throwing them in chat, I'm going to forget. Um, but, yeah, I'm just trying to think of fun, spooky things because fall, especially um, when we get closer to, like, October and all that good spookiness, it's my favorite time of year. I love horror things. And, um, my last, uh, my last, uh, spooky season in the before times was, uh, really devastating personally. So I've been striving these last couple of years to, to bring that back for me. So I'm hoping to find some good, good spooky games. So if people have ideas, um, I'd love to hear it. Hoping something good's on sale on the PlayStation store or something. Um... But, uh, I think I've heard of Vampire, if I'm saying that right, or Vampire, but just with a Y to sound cool. Um, but let me know. Um, but I, uh, I appreciate you guys for hanging out. Um, ooh, look at, man, we had, I don't look at the stats when I stream, because I'll just get in my head and be like, oh man, people are leaving, I'm a piece of, piece of human garbage. Um looking at them now wow thank you guys for showing up um but yeah smash that like uh don't forget to subscribe if you haven't ring the bell and all that crap um just played them for christmas worlds and kingdom hearts <laughs> man i wish um it's funny but uh yeah no i want to do inside but like i said that game's i looked it up and the playtime for it's not very long so i'm like okay that's one day or one stream probably so it's like get some more ideas out there that doesn't really solve the problem it just gives me something to do for one stream um but yeah i'd like to check it out because I, I i have it i think i nabbed it when it was free on the playstation store a little while ago um i hope everyone stay staying safe everyone's doing well I uh, appreciate you hanging out with me. Uh, thank you for all the support uh, here and on the main channel. Thank you again for 150k on the main channel. Um, hoping to get a video up this week, despite everything going on in my personal stuff. 
Um, but uh, if you have time, go check out a video that you watched and you want to watch again, or check out something new with me in the meantime. Um, but I know it's a hard September's a weird time to be a content creator for sure. It's also a transitionary time going back to school or, you know, moving moving back into work after, you know, doing whatever over the summer, what's left of summer these days. But uh hope everyone's doing well, hope everyone's staying safe. Um drink water, guys, wear a mask if you choose to go out, be mindful of others. Um I'll see you Monday or Thursday. Oops. <laughs> I'll see you Thursday for um, Thursday evening for chapter three of Life of Strange True Colors. Um, thank you everyone in the chat for watching your own time. Thank you so much. Hello from the past. Um, appreciate you guys all the same. Uh, be mindful of others. Wear masks if you choose to go out. Remember to take care of yourselves, please.